Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan. We are here to talk about the 5700G, the best APU AMD can offer as of now. Before when we talk about APU, it is always targeting the budget consumers. And during this pandemic, we need something to save us from availing those overpriced video cards. And I think this new AMD 5000 APU series is the answer. Now let's find out if this is one of the things that I may recommend or something that may just disappoint you. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or $700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so let's be straight to the point na mga kaibigan. And looking at the spec sheet, makikita natin that the 5700G is just like the 5800X Zen 3. But then, this is not a PCIe Gen 4 support. At the same time, the specifications is quite trimmed down compared sa mga 5000 series processors. But the best thing in here compared sa mga Ryzen APUs before, hindi na po siya one generation behind. So it's still a Zen 3, pero the problem here that may disappoint you on paper is yung kaniyang graphics. Is still the Vega graphics used by those AMD 3000 APU series. Now dito tayo mapapaisip na what's the point of having this new processor na meron din namang palang same graphics compared sa mga 3 or 2 years old APU series. Let's move on sa ating first benchmark and talk about that integrated graphics. And I picked up also a budget APU processor that is worth around 6,000 before and this will be compared with this roughly 20,000 APU processor. At the first graph, makikita nyo that the GTA 5 is not bringing significant advantage for the Ryzen 7. As much as we want to say it na, yes, that is 10 FPS, pero that is not what we are expecting for that kind of price difference. So, ang masasabi lang natin dito mga kaibigan, is whatever the processor, pag same pa rin yung Vega graphics na ginamit, even it comes with a higher uh, frequency and uh, compute unit, still, hindi pa rin magdi-deliver ng sobrang taas na performance advantage over those budget processors. So if you are leaning for the 5700G to have a very powerful graphics or dominant graphics over those budget processors, I think this benchmark may disappoint you. Now we retried it again with an eSport game that is Dota 2 and still the same. The only good thing in here is at least you can play or run Dota 2 at max settings with at least more than 60 FPS. So it's quite acceptable for a competitive game. Pero dito nga mga kaibigan, let's go back sa ating GTA 5 and let's observe that 5600X versus 5700G with dedicated graphics. Dito mo observe natin that there is also not that much significant advantage for the 5600X. Pero that is not what we are expecting in here. And dito malilinaw yung sinabi natin previously sa ating video that there is still a better advantage para sa processor that comes with higher frequency over that processor that comes with higher core count. Yan is napag-usapan natin sa ating previous video. If you want more details about that, you may check again that video that I uploaded last week. Now, let's move on sa ating Dota 2. Kung sa GTA 5 hindi naging ganun ka-significant yung advantage dahil nga we use the same settings and that higher frequency and higher capacity ng cache is hindi nag-take effect sa 5600X. Now with the Dota 2 that comes with higher quality of settings, more uh, textures to render, and more details to render, there we have a very significant advantage for the 5600X over the 5700G. Isang malaking proof on how those cache and frequency deliver something on the table, especially for AAA games. And that will be proven again with the succeeding games na tinest natin with a 1080p resolution and 1440p resolution. We are expecting that pagdating sa 1440p resolution, there will be not that much advantage. Pero that L3 cache of a 5700G is so much inferior compared to 5600X. 
even though there are some games na hindi masyadong magiging noticeable yung advantage ng 5600X over the 5700G, pero still kitang-kita yung difference, especially that 5600X is also priced at around 10,000 plus over almost 20,000. So what's the point that I'm showing for the 40p resolution? Normally kasi sa mga previous benchmarks natin or on comparison pagdating sa mga CPU, we always go for the 1080p resolution. Dahil alam naman po natin mga kaibigan that mas malaki ang involvement ng CPU pagdating sa 1080p resolution over the 1440p. But that is quite ironic on this 5700G over 5600X. And this is a big proof that even you are planning to settle down for a 5700G just to avoid those overpriced video card, I think you may just settle down for a 5600X and buy a temporary video card for that difference of almost 9,000 pesos. So may mabibili ka ng magandang video card for a 5600X, lalong lalo na kung towards gaming lang naman yung purpose mo. Pero the recommendation will be a bit different if you will look into the production side. Makikita natin dito that the 5700G is now dominant with that multi-core performance over the 5600X sa ating Cinebench test. And ma-observe ulit natin yan with the Blender 3D pagdating sa rendering time. So this proves something that on heavy rendering is still, even na mas mababa yung kanyang frequency or the cache, that higher core count is really better over higher frequency. Pero what about with Adobe Photoshop? Makikita natin dito that the 5600X is shockingly better processor over the 5700G. Quite significant number pagdating sa kanilang difference pero that will not show us the big picture kung anong nangyari behind. Makikita natin dito that the 5600X higher frequency is really helping to have a faster benchmark results pagdating sa editing process ng Photoshop. With different kind of tests pagdating sa Photoshop editing, we spot the 5600X to be better by millisecond to seconds over the 5700G. That will be even bigger, especially if you will be going for a heavier workload or more projects along the way. Where mas naging significant pagdating sa merging ng photos for the 5600X over the 5700G. And that is most of the times encountered pagdating sa mga Photoshop editors because we are always dealing with a lot of photos or we are doing a lot of photo manipulation. Pero yan is taliwas pagdating sa Premiere where the 5700G is now a better processor over the 5600X. Quite a conflict sa aking sinabing statement kanina pero kanina kasi we are dealing with Photoshop with just images. Unlike with the Premiere na along the way habang nag edit tayo may mga process of rendering na nangyayari and that is where the 5700G more core counts take advantage over that 5600X. And in the end of the day, we are not just opening Photoshop. We are not just opening Premiere. So that will not define the whole experience ng isang end user who is doing editing. Because we are also opening browsers. We are also opening uh, files, bunch of tools and programs while we are doing editing. And with that being said, the real world experience is still leaning towards 5700G for having higher core counts and higher threads. Multitasking. Panalo pa rin ang 5700G in real world over 5600X. Because 5600X just won pagdating sa kanyang single core performance. For multitasking, that will be a bit different story. So yan is papaliwanag pa natin sa ating next video. By the way, I will be building also 5700G system unit and uh, I will explain more details kung paano naging uh, mas dominant or better choice ang 5700G. Pero with this initial benchmark and quick review, my recommendation, if you will just be leaning towards gaming in the future at wala ka pang pambili ng video card as of now, if you have the budget naman to have a 5700G at roughly 20K, just cut that budget and settle down for 5600X and avail a second hand or cheaper video card for roughly 9K. Because that gaming benchmark alone that we have spotted earlier, there is so much advantage for the 5600X. Aside from the fact that it comes also with minimal advantage pagdating sa production. Pero, if you want also to avoid that overpriced video card and you are into gaming, pero at the same time you are also into production, 
then you may settle down for the 5700G if you are just planning to have a 5600X with a video card. Now what if Hindi pandemic? Here's the thing. I don't know what AMD is doing or how they price this product, but that is too much. So if AMD really wants to put 5700G as one of the best-selling hotcakes pagdating sa competition, especially that Intel got no processors to go head-to-head -head with this uh, AMD processor that comes with this powerful integrated graphics, they should settle down at a better pricing like roughly more or less 15K. For this time of pandemic, this is the best choice. After pandemic, I doubt. Price must be improved. Ayun mga kaibigan, if you want me to highlight more details about the 5700G sa ating next video, feel free to comment down below yung mga topics na gusto nyo pang idagdag. At the same time, we will be uh, doing a system unit for this 5700G and compare it with more processors on the market, especially from the Intel lineup. So for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.